today's job is to sort all these books out that I've been buying over over the year or so and just not done nothing with them. Got to buy any addiction. Look at that. I mean, they put our books are there. Lord of the Rings. You name it. Great, that's my day. So there it is. Look at that. Just have a look at all that. We've got. I'll flip you around, make it easy for me. So we got Lord of the Rings, David Williams, Terry Pratchett, Harry Potter's, more Harry Potter's, what's that, Narnia, Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones, A Series of Unfortunate Events, Vampire Diaries, I don't know much about half of these. And look at that for the stack of Harry Potter's. Yeah, but Harry Potter issues, aren't there? Or some DVDs and other bits. So the plan of action will be to go through a set. I'll probably leave the Harry Potter's to last because there's that many of them. See what's in them. If I got a full set, get them list put them to the side, get them listed later. If I've not got a full set, like those vampire diaries which are over there. I don't know how many is in the uh, in the series, so I'll do a bit of homework on them. If I haven't got them all, I will then mark on my notes in my iPhone, Vampire Diaries, which book I'm missing. So it gives me a bit of focus then when I'm in a charity shop, just to look for that book. As long as it's 25, 30 pence, add it in, complete a set. I do it with most of them. Just have my little notes up, getting ready to do it. Let's get started and see where we go. A series of unfortunate events. In total, there's 13 books in the series. Each book has 13 chapters in it. I've got one to nine, so I'm missing four of them, and it's the last four, so that's easy to remember. When I bought these a while ago, I got stitched up. Um, I got them from the children's section, and I assumed they were 30 pence a book. I thought I was going to make a killing. And when I got them to the till, they were 1 99 each. So I think I put it in a video. I bought them. I did the, the big thing and <laughs> didn't say anything and bought them. And I considered that my donation to the shop. So I could just donate these and just get rid of them and uh, not bother. But I think I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna look out for the other four if they're cheap enough. Could be a long game, but that's what I'm gonna do. Maybe a waste of time, but I'm gonna complete the set anyway. The Vampire Diaries, there's 13 books in this series. Must be the number 13. So I've got one to nine, missing the last four again, and a couple of spares, which I'll leave to the side and might make another set when I complete this one. Well, the Chronicles of Narnia, there's seven books. I've got six of them, I'm missing The Magician's Nephew. And they've got two extra of the same one. <sighs> getting there. Right, it probably doesn't look like I'm getting there. So, Game of Thrones, we have got one, two, three stacks. So in a Game of Thrones, there's currently there's five books, uh, which is split into seven books. There's five actual books and two of the books are split into two. So it's seven for the series, but actually five, if that makes sense. So for this one, I am missing the last book. So it's a Dance of Dragons. I forget what it is, but I'm missing the last one. This one, I'm missing two. I'm missing... The last book again, and the first one of Storm of Swords. And this one is exactly the same as this. I'm missing the same two books. Seems to be a theme in. And that's them. I've also got a compilation. Companion, not a compilation. Companion that I'll throw in with one of these books. And this one is George Martin's Fire and Blood. So this is about the House of Dragons. So I'll throw that into a bundle as well. So I'll make one of the bundles a little bit better. And I've also got two extras left over. I'm not going to mark them down. I'm starting a new set. I want to finish. My target is finish these three off. Get them listed. You've seen how fast the last one sold. So my plan is get out. Keep my eyes open. Get them uh, five bucks. 
95? Yeah. Debbie Pratchett. Now, there's not many in that bundle. I think I bought these to add into a collection. I've got about 40, maybe 38 books out of his 44, I think it is. I might be wrong, so one knows what Terry Pratchett. I remember buying them all, I think it was about, it was about 38 of them for £20. I'm looking at a full set of Terry Pratchett, it can go for 100, 150. So I decided to complete the collection. I think these, I need to check them. I need to get them all out and check them. So my plan was go to the charity shops, hunt around, find them. I could have bought them from eBay pretty cheap, got them posted out or Amazon or wherever um, and completed it. But where's the fun in that? I'd like to find them myself. But saying that, there's a lot of books. They're quite heavy. So I don't even know I'm going to post them uh, because generally most things I post are Royal Mail everywhere. It's one parcel. That's clearly going to be multiple parcels for them. So I will have a go. We've got someone sneaking in to say hello. Are you coming in? Coming to say hello? Don't oh, you falling over? Mm. Oh, there you go, there's my daughter. Yep, that's her contribution to it all. Except <laughs> she started laughing when she seen me doing all these books. She thinks it's funny. Right, these ain't gonna get finished, so I mean they're not gonna get finished if I don't carry on. Let's keep going. David Williams, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not even going to think of uh, trying to collect all these books. I've got them for the bundle. I'm just going to photograph them, get them listed, get them done. He has a lot of books. It's not like it's a series. He just writes all sorts of uh, good children books. Let's just get them rid and them listed today. At least I get a list of them done, hopefully. All right, we'll quickly go through these. Stieg Larsson, there's three in this trilogy. I've only got two of book two. So I'm missing the other two books. Uh, the Girl with a Dragon Tattoo and the Girl, uh, I think it's Kit the Hornet's Nest or something like that. Nice and easy, I'll get them. Roll Dials, I'm going to have to go through and see how many books there is of all his. I've got three separate ones there. That one is very sun faded, Matilda. So I'll slowly, I'll do, I'll get a list on my phone so I know what books are in that uh, whole range. I think it's about 15 or 16. And I'll slowly cherry pick them, that's something to do at a different day. I don't know why I picked these up, I was probably going to do a James Patterson bundle. Uh, I've never sold James Patterson, I'll keep them. And when I've got everything else, I'll build it up. Anne Rice, the Vampire Armand. So she's done a few interviews with Vampire, the Vampire Armand. Um, Queen of the Damned, I think, is the other one. Obviously, I need interviews with Vampire and Queen of the Damned. I'll keep my eyes open for them, as long as I know what I've got. And this was probably in a bundle of buy X amount for a pound, so I'll pick that up. I don't think it's worth anything. I'm actually really doing it that. And just to show you how I'm going to keep track of these, they're all bagged up, as you can see. I knew buying all these bags from Tesco and that would help in the long run. <laughs> Hundreds of bags. Anyway, all bagged up and I put labels on them. So I can just store them away then. My own writing's a mess, but I know that's Vampire Diaries, Seasons Up, I've watched events. Game of Thrones, so as I get them, I can just grab that bag out, open it, throw the book in it, then list it. So that's my quick way of doing it. Might be the wrong way, but that's my way. So we're down to Lord of the Rings now. And if you know me, you know I love Lord of the Rings. So where are we at with this? We've got The Hobbits, three different versions, 1998. I don't know when that's from. I think this is the 90s. Let's have a look. You can always tell. I began the flu. Um, 1998. That one. This one. Oh, I think it's not too far off the same time as that one as well. Let's have a gander. 1999. Oh, yeah. So. Three random hobbits, and I've obviously got this one as well. This is a good one, this. So we've got a hardback book, big illustration one. Um, as you can see in it, it's, this was a gift to somebody to, can we see? To Gregory, Merry Christmas, 1998, blah, 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 uncle, so on, for, so on, so on. So obviously Gregory didn't appreciate it, he's got rid of it now. This is from 
1997, so you can see there. So when you're looking for books, if you don't know this, you can see when they were first published, and then you always scroll down when you see the last, or the newest one, you know that's the year 1997. So I may keep that one. We've got four Hobbits. We've got these Collins books, all the same style, but we've got the Hobbit, Return of the King, Two Towers, so missing the Fellowship of the Ring. We're going to find that in the blue section. There's a book that I can sell. I actually don't have this version. Uh, I think that's not in bad nick, actually. But I'll probably get rid of them. Then I've also got another one of these, but I've got a full set here. Fellowship of the Ring, Return of the King, The Two Towers. I don't think anyone's going to want them in three different people tend to like them as full sets. But I could just throw a, a Hobbit in with these and just do a random set for next to nothing and even clear them out. Because I like it when you get the artwork like that. It's fantastic. In my opinion. Let's see the year on this. Anyone think it's from the 70s? Nope, 1993. So that's an earlier one. I used to have these sets. I could try and do that. I'll see if there's many sets like that just to get rid of them. Because I can't be bothered looking for all of them. I don't think I'll ever come across all of them. And then we've got this one. Old school. It's tatty. It's gone to someone from school. I've got the name of them. And what year is this? I've if I've left this in the shed too long, or it's just the way I bought it, it's tatty. 19... Where have we got? 1986. Oh, 1986. So that's my Lord of the Rings. Not many, actually. But, I have found this. I remember picking this up. I don't know what it was for. I can't remember a pound or something. So the Lord of the Rings, the Scouring of the Shire. So, if anyone's read the book, they'll know at the end of, towards the end of it. There was a few bad guys in the Shire, and this is a Games Workshop booklet, so a bit of Warhammer. I've never really played Warhammer. I don't know what it's worth. I will put up on the scene now. There's my finger, there's the price, that's what it's worth. Hopefully, that's worth selling now, I think it will do. I will list that today. What I really should do with all these Lord of the Rings ones, I keep picking them up. I should play myself a little game. Pick these up, flip them on. I'm probably, because I like little games, I might just do a little fund as well. Do myself a little fund of flipping up a lot of rings, selling them, getting some profit. And when I've got enough, just treat myself. Because I collect them, I collect all these little books of them, treat myself to a real old set of them. Because I'm always hoping the game for me is go out and find something nice and old. But well, there's too many people on, on it now and I'm never, never going to find a first edition. I'm never going to find a second edition. You never know. But if I can get, you know, find a real old one, that'll, that'll make my day. But if I get some profit together from these, flip it, make a little fund, treat myself to a nice set of the old ones. So I think that's what I'm going to do as a little side note. Could take me two, three, four years, but it'll be somewhere a bit different. Couple of Julie Donaldson board books, so these small, hard, thick books. I will just save them now, put them to a side until I get a bundle. Well, here's an old receipt, Woolworths. Look at that. Ooh. $14.99. The day this is Harry Potter. From two, there we are, 2002. So there we are. Look at them. That's my Harry Potter collection. We'll dive deep into them in a second when I've sorted them all out. But there's a few there. So first thing to start off with, these hardback books are in absolutely fantastic condition. Fantastic. So they are going to go into my personal collection. So I'm just going to bag these up, put them into that, and wait till I get the rest of the set. All hardback is what I want. I do want some paperback ones, first edition, but none of these are first, well, that's the first edition, that's the first edition, you can't find, you won't be able to find them not being first edition. In fact, let me explain first edition. So, 
some people may or may not understand first edition. So these Harry Potter books, when they've got those four colours on the, the Bloomsbury ones, that is a first edition book, regardless, because that's when it was first launched. That is a first edition. What you really want is the first print. And um I'll flip you around. So these old books, you, you won't find them not being a first print because there was that many done in the runs, you'll always find them being first prints. It just says first edition in front of it anyway, you'll always find that. It was that many done. So here's an example of this one. This is in good condition. The Prison of Asperon, which is the third book. This particular one is a first print. So we've got, open that page up, 1999. And because it's got a range of one to 10, if it's got the number one in it anywhere, it's the first print. So there's one to 10, that's the first print. So I might be able to get a bit more money for that on its own. You can listen at the £10 plus, maybe 15 I'll have a go. Some people will ask for some bath money on these, but that's it. the thing is that's in great condition as well. But we'll come back to first prints in a bit. So I'm finally done. There they are, stacked up in nice, neat piles. Took a little bit of time, but it's probably worth it. I'll show you what I've got at the back here. But at the back is a stack of DVDs. That's all the movies, they're pretty much all in box sets actually. So I'll list them on their own. I was thinking of doing a bundle of books and a bundle of DVDs, but I'll just list them on their own and see what happens. All right, we're gonna move on to these newer Harry Potter books. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't have the final one, so I need to look out for that. Um, they don't go for as much money as these first editions, but I like them. I mean, that's them, and they've got a couple of extras, but look at the artwork on them. Look at the nice. Really is beautiful artwork on these. Because we're deep into the films by the time these come out. And yeah, I really, I really quite like them. Right, well, a lot of them are tatty, so I'll get the last one of that. I'll get them listed and get them gone. I might try not to pick these up. But then again, see how quick they're fast. Just gotta say that again. See how quick they sell. This one is a, a foreign one. I'm not sure which country it's from. I'm not sure it's America. Uh, it's a, I can't really bother looking into it too much. But I do know this one is not a UK version. That's why it's got a different uh, front cover. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, bundle it into something. At the back here, we have got the adult versions. So the Chamber of Secrets, inside of each adult version, as a picture of JK Rowling. We've got paperback. This one is a different type of adult version. Only got one of them. So I'll move that out. We've got the Prisoner of Azkaban. Again, on the inside. The adult one's go for not too bad money. And two of the Deathly Adults. I don't very rarely come across the adult versions, very rarely indeed. So that could be a long holder. Right, let's get on to this. We have one, two, three, four, five of the Philosopher's Stones. We've got another two, and the why, and why I've separated them, as if you don't know, we've got um, Albus Dumbledore. Sorry about this, uh, there we go, is that about? No, not really. Dumbledore, yeah. Shadow, and Albus Dumbledore, and on these ones is Albus as a young wizard. There we go. Does it make a difference? I don't know. I might try and list them separately and see if they sell through. They're a bit sun damaged. And we'll move on to this one. This is a later version of it, it's the Celebratory Edition. So I might just hang on to that and see if I get any more of the Celebratory ones. If not, I'll make some type of bundle. That's the first book, so I've <laughs> got quite a few of them. The second book, look at that, The Chamber of Secrets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of them. Ten of them. That's ridiculous. Yeah, what's that about them? There's some, I mean, that copy is pretty much pristine. I am actually going to take the best copy of each one of these I've got and make my own set. 
I've also put aside, as I seen earlier, the hardbacks, but I'm gonna do a paperback. Put a, the best ones to the side and any first editions I find that are in good nick to the side, make me own a uh, little bundle up. Next, we've got the Prisoner of Azkaban. Three of them. We have got, uh, it's the Cobbler Fire after that, but I haven't got, well, I have, I'll show you that in a minute, but I haven't got really any to sell here. I'll show you that, so there's two there. Not the best shape on the spine as well, some damage. But I'll, I'll tell you in a bit why I've separated them. So, no Goblet of Fire. Absolutely no Order of the Phoenix, so that's what I need to pick up. That's peculiar why I haven't got any. I've got one Apple of Prince paperback. These are pretty much all paperbacks. And then you want to uh, the Deathly Hallows. One, two, three, four, five, six of them, all hardbacks. I've said about them. We've got a couple of extras, which, which I always add in to make a bundle. The Cursed Child, which came out after the films. These fantastic beasts and where to find them. You've seen the books, seen the films. That'll get added in. And Tales of Beedle the Bard, that always gets added in. I've also found a colouring book, which needs flattening out. So I'll get that flattened out and that'll go into a bundle. So there will be a decent bundle where they're going to get that, 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 and that on top of the seven books. Now, I'll turn around to these with attention. The reason these have been separated, these are all first editions. Now, I want to say first editions, I'll rephrase it again. First prints. All these are first editions, but they're also first prints. I don't know too much about whether these are any good, because it's a bit older. Probably not worth any, but if not, I'm going to throw them into a bundle. But yeah, I'm going to try and list one or two of these and see what happens. And then I'm going to take the best one out of there for myself. But I'll list these for a high price 10, 15, 20. See if they get any nibbles at it. If it sells, then I've got a, a little bit of profit in all these to sell. These are first editions as well. I don't think that makes much of a difference. But uh, it all cost me 75 pence. And that's the first issue, that's the fantastic beats and where to find them, which is different than the one you seen a minute ago. So, as it stands, of all these books that I've been through today, Harry Potter, I haven't got a single one to list. Now that's disappointing. I've gone through all that trouble and I've not got anything to list to get it sold quick. Well, that's the way it goes, I should have paid more attention. So what I'm going to do with these now, I'm going to put them into my iPhone, I'm not going to but what I'm missing, I'm gonna break this down into my phone. So I'm gonna have Philosopher's Stone times X amount, Young Wizard times X amount, uh, Celebration times X amount, and then Tall Fourth going to the Chamber of Secrets, all them. And uh, I will know when I'm in a shop, if I open up my app, I can look and say, do not pick up the Chamber of Secrets, do not pick this up. I should know that anyway, but yeah, unless it's a first edition. You never know. I might find that first edition one day of Philosopher's Stone. Right, well that's my books done. So I might not be able to do any bundles, but they're ready to go, aren't they? If we're all organised, all I have to do now is focus in on pick the other one or two up and the bundles are ready to rock and roll. It wasn't a big waste of time. On a goosebump book from 93, I might start a bundle on that. Goodness, this is called this is called Shadow Precept Episode One. Now this is just a magazine, a comic that my good friend made. So good friend Jimmy, he made this, came up with the concepts. Let me turn it around. Yeah, he's come up with his comic, done it himself. Really the idea, got an artist to do it. And Jimmy's got his own YouTube channel. The channel's called uh, Rockstar Dad UK, there it is. If you're into music, um, go over there and have a look. He does all sorts of music. Jimmy was in a, in a few bands. I think he's done a bit of touring with Ronan Keaton and a few others. So, yeah, if you're into music, go and check him out. Anyway, a few bits here to the list. Wasn't all that bad. I came across all the Lightning McQueen's here and there. So, I must have been picking these up for 20 pence, 30 pence here. So, all different. That's a nice little bundle, I'll whip them together. There, I 
think that's about it really. So I'm going to list them, I'm going to list them. Dad Gordon's going to list, list that. These can go into my usual bundle stuff. So as you can see, it's gone dark outside. It's bonfire night. I'm going to shoot off and uh, take the kids out to a bonfire, make some fireworks. So it's turned into a longer video than I thought, but it's a bit different. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. See my load of books that I've had to go through, the pain. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, like it. Maybe you could subscribe. If so, I'll see you on the next one.